I'm Thomas. I'm from the western suburbs of Chicago and Illinois, uh, born and raised. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a long journey to get here. Uh, and, uh, and it's definitely still going. Um, but I, yeah, had, uh, I've, I've gotten therapy for anxiety and, uh, and kind of stress and addictive behaviors, mostly just, yeah, just centered around anxiety, uh, for a decade and trying putting a lot of effort into just trying to scrape the surface of, of just levels of being blocked and numb uh, in and in the past year had, you know, some uh, traumatic uh, experiences and a really hard winter and my, uh, had, had really, uh, went, went through a lot of suffering, uh, around the sickness and death of my dad, who I was doing a lot with and trying to take care of. Um, and on the heels of that, I really felt like, uh, I had kind of, I had kind of dead ended and this really wasn't going to go anywhere good. Like I, my mechanisms for repair and recovery that that I had that I felt like could at least get me by even though I've felt low function I'd still like could survive I felt like I don't even know if I can function uh, and so I was just finding myself uh, taking all my spare time to just play video games or watch YouTube videos or find any distractions that I could and it was clear that this just wasn't going anywhere good uh, and my my route to reconnecting with myself just my old strategies just weren't weren't gonna get me there when I heard about uh, when I heard about ibogaine when I heard about uh, beyond it it sounded like there was a group that had taken the potential of this medicine to actually actually give the the care that the medicine deserved and do it safely and uh and walk you through every step of it The week that I got to spend at Beyond, uh, getting the getting the care that this team's been giving, has really has really sh shown a light on the stuff that I've been trying to shine a light on for for decades, and I've been taken every strategy I could find and all the therapy I could think of for rooting her out inside there. And, uh, 
I still feel like I've just scratched the surface, but it feels amazing to finally have scratched the surface. And, and the surface that I scratched has a lot of light coming through it and it's, it feels completely life-changing to have just scratched the surface. Yeah. But there's a whole lifetime more work to do that I'm really, really excited to do. And I'm really excited to keep this work going when I, when I, when I get back home and, hmm. The best, the best explanation I can think of as, you know, the experience of the Ibogaine treatment, uh, I, I, I thought of describing it as feeling like a cup of coffee for the subconscious, uh, which which can be a very scary thing uh, for those of us who have survived by keeping kind of the subconscious bound and gagged. Uh, and so it very much felt like uh, felt like my subconscious and my my daydreaming part of me got a chance to to wake up and got a chance to start start making some noise. Um, and the way that that felt for me was feeling a lot of a lot of what felt like irrelevant clutter felt a lot of just random just you know uh random moments of saying oh man i i i really you know just can't stop getting distracted i can't stop just thinking about clips from tv shows or computer games or you know everything i've just seen and heard and felt and just kind of random stuff but the uh it was it was really amazing like the ways that the random stuff was able to take on meaning even though it really just felt like completely random mashup of the previous week but uh it the re the mashup of the previous week was able to was able to as it would loop take on more meaning and yeah so the feeling of mind racing feeling of uh of of confusion and a little feeling of well why can't i think of the really important impactful stuff and why am i just looping through uh random sights and sounds of of conversations and entertainment uh also there's also i felt a fair bit of uh quite a bit of dizziness and and nausea as well um and uh And yeah, a lot of a lot of the things that are classic distractions for me came back in force and I was able to use them for the first time, which was really neat. Yeah. So a lot of arguments that I'd be stuck on, a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of fixations that I couldn't let go of. They all, you know, came, they all came tramping in, uh, and they all, and they were all able to just race around and have their, have their time. And over time, I was able to, I was able to
be at home with, with all of it and with all of them. It seems like the, the house here at Beyond and the, the people here um, have, have made absolutely sure to, um, to take full care of everyone in the, in all of the dimensions of themselves. Um, and those of us who don't have a, for me, I, I, for me, I didn't have a clear internal sense of, um, of how I needed to be taken care of just in my life uh, and how I wanted those around me to take care of me and how I needed those around me to take care of me. Um, and beyond the, the team here and the, the house here, we've created a space that that offers all of that to to everyone which is wonderful for everyone particularly for those who didn't even know wouldn't have even known how to ask for it or how to get that or how to have that um and that felt very much like part of the treatment uh, which was that the, the Ibogaine, uh, the Ibogaine treatment, the drug, you know, the plant brings up, uh, the plant is able to stir the subconscious, the plant is able to, uh, wake up some of these very confused needs and these very confused wants that are that are pretty bewildering and just confusing and then at the same time i'm spending a week in this house trying to sit with these confused things that have come up and that are lingering and that I'm accessing what I've seen and in that time I'm with this family uh, that is showing me what what my family should have what I needed my family to look like uh, and so I'm trying to make sense of all of these emotions and all these images have come up and I don't know what the images mean. And I'm trying to interpret them into what it is that I'm, you know, needing and what I can do to move myself forward. And it's difficult to interpret, but then while that's happening, I am sharing meals and having food that's prepared for me with love in an authentic way and in a generous way. Um, and I'm being, uh, and I'm being attended to by a nurse or a therapist or an activity director uh, who, who cares about me and not uh, just a paycheck and not just that they've done what I've asked them to do, but who want to make sure that I'm doing okay. Um, 
and living that out and acting that out was a really important part of the treatment. So I'd say a primary part of the treatment at Beyond is the opportunity to be part of a to feel what it's like to be in the family that I need and to feel what it's like to be doing doing the life that I need to do and be receiving the unconditional love that I need to receive in the ways that it manifests in care and touch and feeding and listening and counseling and all of that. Receiving the, the motherly and fatherly uh, contact in all of those. Which, which is only possible with the team that Beyond has put together, which is they've, they've brought people who genuinely uh, care and are personally invested with each patient, um, which, which, not ev you don't find that everywhere, and it's and it's indispensable what they, the way that they've put it together. Two highlights that I think will continue to feel special are, are both interactions with, at the time, the one other, the one other client who was here, uh, when, when the other client, who's a professional dancer, uh, offered us a, a movement piece as well as some collaborative movement exercises. Um, which was, you know, which just came a few hours after, after I had been saying to myself, you know, I need to find some ways to explore some of this work in movement and, hey, this evening we're going to, uh, have a movement exploration and and then there was also a, uh, I had a moment when uh, the, when, when the other, when the other client here was leaving yesterday, uh, we, we sang Moon River together kind of as an we kind of made it into a bit of an anthem uh, of this this ride together and this this exploration this journey and that I, I still think of that and it keeps coming back. <sighs> if you're thinking about coming to beyond and and experiencing this treatment and this this full care. I would say you are more ready than you think you are. I would say the stuff that the stuff that you are um, 
that you are thinking might get in the way that might ruin it. The ways that you're thinking it might get ruined probably aren't a thing. Um, uh, definitely talk about it and learn about it and listen to what there is to hear about it. It's great stuff to learn about. Um, but, and to ask all the questions that are on your heart. Uh, but, in the midst of that, I would say, um, most of that won't matter, usually, just, that's my guess, I don't know what your questions are, but, whatever your questions are, probably, um, most of them, you know, will end up not having been an issue. And the bigger concern that is something going to mess this up. Uh, is I would is not a thing. Uh, I think that has a lot to do with the work that's been done at Beyond, um, as well as the nature of the nature of how the plant interacts with uh, with our subconsciouses and how we interact with our subconsciouses is um, things. Uh, that that we do a lot of internal work for that, and so a lot of the things that's oh no, is something going to get mixed up for me? Am I going to get, you know, the wrong idea about something? Um, those there's not only people here who are really good at that, but also there's a lot in here that's really good at that. And so my advice to someone looking at beyond, somebody looking at uh, ibogaine treatment, my, my big piece of advice would be uh, to, appreciate, to appreciate how much work those here have done to, uh, to be ready to keep you in a good direction and keep you in a good place and to be paying attention to you and knowing what to pay attention to. That that's really, really important. And then also be aware of how much you have inside and that you have a lot of capacity with this plant and with your internal self to bridge the thousands of gaps that are there that you're never going to be able to bridge in your beforehand anyway. You've given me a way to bring a huge amount of myself back into my life. Uh, I was, you know, I was functioning with a tenth of myself and being, being cut off and numb from, uh, from a huge amount of of my emotional life and feeling like it wasn't existing um, and uh, 
and the work that the work that you guys put in to keep an eye on me and take care of me and interact with me and listen to me and direct me um, was deeply important. All that you gave me uh, has has left me feeling like I have I have a bunch of myself with me now, and that uh, that I'm so much of me is awake now and and active and has a place in my life. Uh, and I have no, I feel no impulse to avoid, uh, to avoid myself anymore. When I think about, when I think about my distracting behaviors, when I think about trying to take a spare hour and just turn on a TV show or pull out a game on my iPhone, it's, it's just like, huh, people do that. That's how odd, you know? And there's just no sense of that need. That need just, uh, when things are, when things used to feel quote unquote scary, uh, I, All I want is to be there. I just want to connect with the people who love me. I want to connect with my own future and my own life and see what's and 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 challenges and questions and the unknown and what's out there and let's let's see what's next and there's excitement and uh, and I don't feel pain any less I don't I don't feel fear any less but it's it's fear fear rather than shut down fear it's it's wow we let's do something about some of these bad things that are going to happen let's all you know this needs to be worked on this is it feels real and and all i want is to be part of it and yeah it's just like all of the it just feels like all the ptsd breakages of like not running away from danger anymore, but it's like, now I just want to run away from danger. And it's like, and, but, but know what the danger is. And it's like, okay, that's, that's what it is. And, and let's try to fix it, you know, and let's do something about it. Let's get curious about, you know, what the thing, it's just all of the responses are back and I like them. <sighs> Thank you. Your whole, your whole team was part of this. Everyone at Beyond was completely instrumental in, in uh, reviving, realigning, and making room for, for my whole self to get let up out of the cellar and back into the house and just all of me is getting to know each other now. So I'm so grateful. I
I mean, there's there's no better gift you can give anyone. That, so you really, you really are, you really are changing lives and making. You are being an important part of changing lives and making miracles. Uh, miracles are happening, and you've made a beautiful, beautiful space that these miracles can happen in.